this is feed your mind and so are alien beings real or not so basically uh the government recently just held a committee meeting and they were discussing aliens and um well basically ufos and it was in a public hearing for the first time in probably half a century and they're actually discussing this in open now and they're confirming that yeah there's other beings down here with us but i guess they didn't want to tell us that so i don't know how anybody can trust these guys if they've been holding this information secret for so long that then something's wrong that means you can't trust them um the government belongs to the people and they act like it just belongs to them so if they discover that there's ufos they want to keep that a secret so everybody just continues to go to work and doesn't think about too much and you know doesn't explore their thoughts or anything for all this time they could have been you know discovering what's actually going on and having ideas about it and stuff but no they wanted to keep all that information to themselves until just now it's like to me that shows me that one you can't trust them and two it almost appears like they're in cahoots with them. So it looks like to me they're working with them. And so what are these alien beings? I believe there's both invisible and physical beings. The Bible tells us how the fallen ones came down and were able to make physical beings. The book of Enoch suggests that it wasn't just with humans. It was also with animals. So there was all types of hybrids and um, there's all types of possibilities of physical beings that might exist so and even with the alien species they're saying there could be all types of beings and species that exist with, amongst us and to me they look like they live under the earth now what exactly they are i mean there could be all types of explanations for that like i said the fallen ones came down and well basically they said they got locked out well locked up in tartarus after the flood but they said the children of the nephilim or the fallen ones were um the giants and they said the giants weren't supposed to have been born because they were um abominations and so when they died in the flood there was basically no place for them to go because they weren't even supposed to have been created so they said these are the spirits that have been roaming the earth and in the invisible spirits and um you can find evidence of these invisible spirits all over the place like well there's all types of literature and documentation and video of um possessed people exorcisms there's a movie series called the conjuring that is based on a real life couple who were hunting these spirits and there's a lot of evidence you can find when you look into them and so with the ouija boards and everything there's a lot of evidence that these alien well these there's some type of living beings on this earth with us. And so we have a lot of proof of invisible beings, but as far as the physical beings, we've saw pretty much human humanoid giants so far. Um, we haven't really seen any, you know, and then there's evidence of some type of animal type hybrids like um, the dinosaurs, which were basically dragons. So there could be something to that, but as far as these weird bug-eyed looking creatures there could be something to that as well i mean these uh like i said the fallen ones they weren't supposed to have been created in the first place so where did their spirits go maybe they were creating maybe they created bodies for themselves or somehow was able to um uh, take that form on maybe they uh materialized in that form possibly and or possibly um, they created those bodies in labs. I mean, these are supposedly highly advanced beings that are very scientifically advanced and very uh, technologically advanced as well. That's why they have these crafts that I have determined as has could have something to do with the ISS and um, any type of flying objects in the sky that appear to be in orbit or appear to be satellites or whatever they think these objects are in the sky. A lot of these 
objects, I believe, could be related to these fallen ones who have been creating technology that has been hidden from us. And they probably have these bases. There could be bases under the oceans. There could be bases under the earth. Um, and and there's evidence that there's possibly creatures under the earth. And that's what these beings look like. They look like bugs, you know, like some type of insectoid, humanoid types being, you know, um, chimera, if you will. And, you know, so there could be something to these hideous creatures. I mean, they definitely look like they live under the earth. If, if you ask me, uh, these, these slimy beings and, uh, they could have something to do with the reptilians or the, um, the fallen one was described as a serpent type creature. Um, there could be something to do with, uh, the dragon race or whatever you want to call them. I mean, there's something, I, I believe that's not, out of the realm of possibility for there to be something to that whole concept of some type of um, reptilian type insectoid being uh, that is often depicted as an alien, like um, Aleister Crowley had depicted when he had um, drew this being that looked just like an alien, basically. So uh, these beings could exist, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not ruling that out. And, um, you know, it looks like they probably have something to do with a lot of the things that happen here on the earth. Um, I believe they have something to do with the heliocentric model and, and making people believe in that because that gives them cover and excuse for uh, the time, which is now where they're attempting to go public. It looks like now it looks like, like I said, I, I believe the governments of the world have been working with these beings behind the scenes for a long time and basically it looks like they're getting ready to reveal these beings to the world possibly and if they go that far i mean or i mean if if they actually go that far it could be all made up right they could just do it like that or they could it could be, like I said, a partnership where they're finally allowing these beings to come out in public because this plan has obviously been around for a long time for them to come around and to come into public view after a while. Because, like I said, I believe the whole heliocentric model was used to set up their arrival. Um, it was designed to make people believe, oh, there's thousands of Earths out there, obviously, because the universe is so vast and expansive that the chance of other life being out there because each star it, they're saying is a sun so there could there's there could be a thousand or an infinite amount of possibilities for there to be um life on another planet that's what the general public believes so it just set up for them to have an excuse for some weird looking creatures to, creatures to actually arrive one day possibly and it looks like that day could be coming soon it's just are they gonna f fake it or are they gonna actually bring out the real beings you know and i think i don't see why they couldn't bring out the real beings because i i believe that there definitely could be real beings i don't like i said that's that's definitely a possibility um let me know your thoughts do you think it will be well, do you think there will be any revelation of alien beings amongst us in the mainstream? And um, do you think it will be fake or do you think it will be real? We'll have to see. I mean, they don't even really have to look like the alien beings they've been showing us um, with the bug eyes and stuff. The alien beings could actually end up looking like humans if, you know, depending on what story they come up with. The movie V showed us that it's possible that these alien beings could come down here looking like us they could even have um they could even look different under their skin though and i think david i kind of had information about that where they know how to look um like humans but they might not actually look like humans they might you know i saw technology where they do have uh facial technology it looks like where they can present themselves to look way more human than they actually might look. Um, who knows? Who knows what's really going on with that? Plus, there's um, 
uh, a practice they do, which might make them look like that when they deal with other family members. And uh, I know that's what they like to do a lot, it sounds like. So there could be all types of reasons why they look, um, apparently they look hideous to where I'm hearing they don't, you know, these there's beings out here that, you know, they can't really be in the public because of how they look. So um, who knows how they're going to end up looking. Um, I've saw a lot of uh, depictions of aliens and I've, I've saw some real documentaries and stuff where uh, people are actually channeling what they think are aliens. So uh, basically it looks like they're connected to the fallen ones because they think you know, the people that are channel channeling these aliens, they think they're communicating with beings that are aliens. But how do they not realize that this sounds like uh, like they're channeling demons? Like, how do they not understand that um, a lot of these reports of alien um, interactions sound a lot like demonic interactions? And so... There was this one, well, there was actually a couple stories where it sounds like these people were abducted and dragged down what looks like they were dragged down under the earth, especially in a lot of the movies that they show based on these stories. It's, it's just like a lot of these people that were apparently, well, allegedly abducted, it just sounds, it looks like they were dragged somewhere under the earth. So I believe there's something to that where um, so these cave systems and stuff like that, like who knows where they actually lead. Um, there's all types of um, weird stories about cave systems and th some of these systems could probably lead to an inhabited place under the earth with these beings or like I said they could have communities under the water almost like Atlantis they could be under some of our oceans uh, far deep beneath the, the oceans where they know that no one can ever find them and uh, they could be under there with their um, dome cities who knows I mean but we'll have to see what comes of this information like I said I mean I don't know it's like they're really pushing this whole UFO thing now and it looks like they're preparing for something um, like I said I want to know in, in the comment section do you believe what they're preparing for is going to be an actual revelation of beings or do you think they're going to just make the whole thing up like or is it or is nothing going to ever come of this stuff like you know a lot of the stuff they talk about on the news and stuff it's just like i don't i don't believe a lot of it sometimes you know it's like I, sometimes I just, it just looks like they're making stuff up like completely but then other times there could be some truth to it and 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 so basically with this whole alien well ufo thing i believe that there's some truth to it i mean i hate all the footage that they've been showing it just it makes me you know i don't just i, I really don't trust them so there's there's no way you can convince me that the best footage they have is, is this real horrible footage they've been releasing. Now I saw recently in this newest um, Senate hearing, they are releasing better quality footage than before. And I believe they have way better footage to be releasing. Um, We'll have to see. I mean, it's just... It's really hard to, you know, believe and trust these people, but, you know, maybe there there's something to what they're getting at. Um, I don't find it out of the realm of possibility that they are working with some type of beings um, here on this earth that have been removed from heaven. And um, so basically that would add a lot to what the Bible was warning us about especially if these beings are trapped down here on this earth with us, it will, it will make you question what earth really is. So, um, apparently we were kicked out of the Eden area where it was prosperous and fruitful. We were placed on this, um, this known earth that we see now in this realm. And it seems like this is the realm 
where you go when uh, you're being judged and uh, observed, basically. And it looks like there's a, a, a prison system under the earth where uh, the spirits are kept, where the fallen ones, and then it looks like the other ones could be on the surface level here with us in invisible form and in physical form. And, um, so we're, if we're mixed in with all of that, I mean, that means that we're actually in a state that is pretty similar to what would be kind of like hell or something right now, almost, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, but, but if this is a place where it's a dumping ground for the rejects, the people, you know, the spears kicked out of heaven and the, um, abominable, uh, well, the abominable beings and, you know, humans are here too and, with, you know, kicked out of Eden. So that means this earth system that we're in right now doesn't seem to be the best place right now. It seems to be definitely a place where we're uh, awaiting sentencing. So, we're, you know, it's almost like we better be on our best behavior or something right now because it definitely appears this is where this place is like... You could it could go either way from here. You're either gonna get released into back into Eden, an Eden type world, or some people, uh, well, some beings down here are gonna be sentenced to, I guess, the Lake of Fire or something because uh, it looks like a lot of beings are down here awaiting sentencing, and uh, it looks like they're trying to kick stuff off before the sentencing because some of the some of these beings down here are lifers and they know they're about to be um execute it so it looks like they're trying to find portals out of here like it looks like that's what CERN is all about and um yeah so I want to know your thoughts what do you think about aliens do you um you know do you think there's something to it or do you think it's just all blue beam type stuff in fictional you know just another fear tactic like I said, my thoughts is, is basically I think there's something to it, though. I definitely think there's something to it. I don't think it's just limited to um, fear tactics. I definitely think they have high technology and uh, there's beings down here that are trapped um, under the firmament in the circle earth with us. And, um, you know, that they're um, awaiting uh, either a big battle, a battle at the end of the world, or they're trying. They could even be trying to kick that off, you know, because they know their their fate. Possibly, maybe they're trying to kick off this final war. There's a war of Armageddon. So, anyways, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section in the description box. I'll, I'll probably leave a link to that uh, UFO committee hearing. Um, I'll also leave a link to more information about aliens that I've um that I've covered in the past. So check out all that in the comment section in the description box. I'm also gonna leave a link if you want to sign up to my free email newsletters. I'm also gonna leave a link um if you want to sign up to or well, subscribe to my Feature Mind 3 channel. I'm gonna be over there dropping videos I don't cover on this channel. I'm also accepting one dollar donations if you want to help keep Feature Mind on YouTube and help me get back to my documentary style videos. Um Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, and check check my links for my uh, social media and much more. So thank you for tuning in. This has been Feed Your Mind, signing off.